your album is out. I'm sure you have a lot to celebrate because of the record, but you're also turning 30. That yes. is a milestone yes. birthday. Yes. So knowing what you know now, like what would you say is the biggest lesson you have learned over these last 30 years? Whew. I don't know. I can't answer that question because there's so many. Mm. But, um, you know, staying, staying true to who I am, growing, um, finding my own voice is was really important to me. And yeah. now, now I understand that I am in control of my life. Mm. I make my own decisions and I'm my own boss. Yeah. I mean, do you feel like uh, there's a part of you that this still has things on your bucket list that you really want to achieve or do in your life or your career? And if so, what of is course, it? Of yeah. course, of course. You know, my bucket list doesn't include things like jumping out of a plane. because It doesn't? I've already done that. She's done it. I've That's done right. it. <laughs> um, and I'm like, as I get older, I'm like more terrified of things. Really? So I like won't do that again. But um, you know, things like having a family is really important to me. And it's that, once again, it's, it's the substance of life. Mm, I love that. Looking back and knowing everything that you've been through, do you ever get a chance to look at the mirror and just tell yourself how proud you are of you? Because I yeah. feel like you, yeah, because yeah. I'm proud of you. Thank like it's you. kind of amazing to see your journey and, and, and exactly how you became who you are today. So yes. it must be a, a moment of reflection for you, especially knowing that it's like 30 years, right? Like yes. It's, birthday. it's, I've been through a lot, you know, and yeah. I'm really proud of myself. And sometimes I look in the mirror and I just say, I'm so proud of you, mm. you're doing great, yeah. and I love you. Well, we're here to celebrate you because we love you too, and pl plus it's a big birthday, so we Thank actually have a little you. surprise for you. Oh my God! I'm about you a little cake, okay, Debbie? Uh, you celebrate it's my properly. favorite cake too! Right? You, you can tell what it is, right? It's Susie, Susie Cakes. Cakes. Yes, we it's the best the, cake. Thank you so much. Happy birthday, Demi. Thank Would you. you. Like yes. And thank you for not making me sing to you because I could not sing to you. <laughs> so, happy birthday. Thank you so much. 30s. Congratulations. I mean, eighth studio album. How about that? Yeah, it's kind of crazy. I never thought I'd put out eight albums, but I'm happy about it. An amazing body of work. And this one, though, because I had a chance to finally listen to it, is a headbanger. Thank I mean, you. I just imagine myself like rocking out to it in the car, in the kitchen, just like Thank oversized t-shirt and just like giving them hell, you know? Oh yeah, that's the goal. All right. While I was listening to it, I just kept thinking, it must feel so good for you to like, just like let it all out. Yeah, you know, it's like me going back to my roots. Right. And it feels so good to just be completely authentic and what makes me happy to perform mm. and sing. And I'm just like really, really excited about it. You know, I usually ask artists when they're putting out a new album, like what do you want your fans to know about this next era? But I'm curious, like what, how do you think they will interpret this next era of music for you? I don't know, that's gonna be up to them. You yeah. know, I can't really, interpret it for them. Yeah. But um, I hope what they take from the album is that I'm back to myself mm. and um, I hope they have a great time listening to it. it Well, one thing that's consistent with your records, whether it's a bop or a ballad, I feel like you're always speaking some truth, you know, sometimes hard truth. Uh, what kind of stories were inspiring this record? Everything that I've been through, especially yeah. like over the past year, um, you know, I've gone through a lot and I realized a lot about myself and I realized what, did I, what I wanted to say in my music. Mm. Yeah, I also feel like, you know, the beauty of music, right, is that it is open to interpretation and, and fans can relate to your story or they can kind of like, you know, create their own story for them when they listen to this. Uh, do you pay attention to when they're just kind of deciphering what the lyrics mean? Do you pay attention to their inter interpretation of that? Um, you know, sometimes they'll tell me yeah. and it's really, really cool to hear their interpretations from them themselves. Um, you know, whatever the media and the press take from it is yeah. what they um, ultimately are going to do and so I don't pay a ton of attention to it. Mm. I don't really like reading things about my music. I like just really? putting it out there. So once it's out there, it belongs to everyone else. And you yeah. Can, really? Yeah. Wow. But it must also feel, because you co-wrote almost every song on this, right? Every song. Every song. So you co-wrote every song on this record. It must have felt really cathartic too to yes. get it out on paper. Yes, yeah. absolutely. It, it just felt so exciting to create songs of my own mm. and messages that were really important to me. Absolutely. Let's talk about uh, substance because I was telling you it stuck in my head. Good, you know, it's such good, a banger. Good, good. It's Thank so good. You. 
again, another song that's kind of open to interpretation, but for me, I felt like it's about, you know, not settling and also looking for that kind of genuine connection with exactly, people. Exactly, right? exactly. That's what I wanted people to take from the song. Yeah. So what are you looking for when you're looking for a genuine connection? What I'm looking for is, you know, looking people straight in the eyes, mm. not spending too much time on my phone and um, the distractions that yeah. we have in our everyday life. You know, it's important for me to go sit in the grass and enjoy the sun, yeah. things like that. I feel like it's easier said than done sometimes in your business and in this industry. Like, how do you ground yourself and find that time and carve that out for yourself? You know, there's things like meditation, mm. there's things like working with a spiritual coach and also just staying true to who you are yeah. and you know, standing on your own two feet and um, staying strong and, like I said, true to who you are. And the older you get, do you feel like it's easier for you to say yes to certain things and no to others, you know, yes. and put yourself first? Yes. What's cool about that is I've really figured out who I am. Mm. And I say that a lot every every time I get older, right. you know, but it's like I've never felt so sure of myself and grounded. That's so liberating. Like what yes. a good feeling that is. Yes. You know, speaking of good feelings, you're about to go on tour. You're rehearsing for tour. Yes. It's your first tour in what, four years? Yes. I mean, how excited are you to like not only see your fans again, but to perform this record live? Yes, it's. It, I'm so excited to reconnect with my fans yeah. in person, see them face to face, and see them enjoying the music. They're ride or dies, aren't they? Yes, my <laughs> Levotics are right. ride or dies. They're like whatever you want to put out, we're going for it. We're, we're yes. We're, we're wearing the band tees. I'm ripping it up, and I'm going. Yes, <laughs> yes. I, love it. I see them, and I I am so grateful for all of them. How are you guys feeling? <laughs> What do you want those fans to know about this show? What can they expect when they come see this tour? Um, like I said, I'm back to my roots and I am no longer performing in like little leotards and in stilettos, yeah. you know, trying to be someone that I thought people wanted from me. Mm. And now I just get to be myself, my genuine, authentic self yeah. and perform the songs that I want to perform. Get to see more of you just like- Playing guitar. That's right. Yeah, exactly. Right? I love it. Um, okay, so now before a show though, do you have like a pre-show ritual or warm up? And I guess in this case, like how do you kind of get yourself amped up? Cause this is a rock show. Well, first of all, it's been a while, so okay. I'm gonna have to figure that out when I'm on the road, but vocal warm-ups are really, really important to yep. me. Okay. Uh, you've always been so open in your music, right? I mean, is that part of the job kind of terrifying for you? Like, obviously, you're working through those emotions in the music, but then, like you said, then it belongs to everyone else. Like, what are your, what, like, what are your emotions when, right before a release like this? Oof, my emotions right before a release, I get really anxious. You do. I do get stressed because the the part of my process that I really enjoy is creating. Yeah. So once it's out there, I just like don't really look at things online, what mm. people say, and I just wish for the best. Yeah. So in a lot of ways, is it more for yourself, like this piece of work? or is Yes, it, this yeah. is all me. This is who I am, yeah. and I can't wait for the world to hear it.